I love and them they're too. beautiful. They're just micro fine. And they're there's just so lovely. many different colors that you, yeah, I love. Oh, them. the palettes. Yeah. And, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we can talk glitter all night long. Yeah. It's fabulous, darling. Okay, this is going to sell out in an instant. So you've got to yep. be on the line and ready to go. But. Once again, Martha and you and the entire yes. team went to something that we really need yep. and completely reinvented the idea. It's a yep. scoring system, yes. correct? It's a scoring system. It's actually called the scoring board, um, and it comes with this. It's a, a you know, it works for 12 by 12 sheets of paper. It's a little bit larger than that, so you can actually do something larger. But it has a groove at every one eighth of an inch, mm -hmm. and what that does is a lot of different things. It's different than any other scoring board. You can actually do patterns in your paper by just scoring at every other inch, mm. every other eighth of an inch. And you can make these lines and it really makes beautiful patterns into your paper. Um, some of the cards that show that right here, you can see how that okay. really finishes. Can finish. you guys see that? I'm just going to hold see it. it. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's know. pretty. Isn't that funny? You'd think yeah. just straight lines, yeah. how amazingly sophisticated it can be. But it looks like a store-bought piece of stationery, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, but very true. expensive. This mm -hmm. is so cheap because it's just a piece of paper that you've made with your scoring board. Okay, so what does it do before it's gone? Because yeah. there's lots of so parts and pieces. Another great thing about this scoring board is the envelope triangle. This actually is stored in the bottom of your, of your um, it fits into the bottom of the oh, slot, smart. so you'll never lose it. Yep. We always think about these things. Um, you just slide it up into the corner. There's a little guide up here for eight sizes of envelopes. You're going to choose your favorite. Cut the paper, which is noted right here. With it, start with start with seven and a half by seven and a half inches. Okay, and that's like what a perfect square. Mm -hmm. I want to make a four-bar card, so okay. that's what I've done. I've cut the seven and a half by seven inch. Then I go to this little diagram, and it says my A line. I want to score at two inches, two point uh, two inches and five eighths inches. Okay. So I go to two and five eighths and score. Oh, that's easy. Oh, I see. You're just putting it right there. Turn it all the way around. Oh, gotcha. Two and five eighths and score again. My B line is three and a quarter, and I do three and one quarter, score. Three and one quarter, and score. What's this little hidden drawer before it's gone? That actually oh, is where cool. you're going to hide your scoring tool, or, or your bone folder. Gotcha. Just put it, but there's also more little more information? Yeah, there's more information to, on how to make um, the size of cards that fit into the envelopes and also box sizes. You oh, can make cool. any size of box. You don't ever have to buy another one. You're going to make them all yourself. That, we love that. And I love, look at how fancy this card is. I mean, so you can go from a real basic single fold with a beautiful score line on it to extremely complicated. Yes, exactly. And this is actually the envelope in the end. Um, what I love about it is that you can actually, because it's a 90 degree angle, you can use your punch around the page and put a nice little detail on the edge. Of course. Of course you can. <laughs> I love that. That would be beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, just finish it off that little corner and you're like, oh, I'm done. All right, here's the story. This will sell out. I've got like 500 left. It's almost completely gone. Last item that we'll do with Martha and Alex today. This is it. Um, very awesome price, $22.45. That's amazing for this yeah. because it's really a nice yes. a piece of equipment. Yes. And you know, you pay for it once and you use it for years and years and years to come. It's yes. not like it gets worn out. Yeah, and um, you know, take any of your favorite designs of, of paper and make an envelope out of it. This is a, a foil embossed paper from our Brights or our, our Elegance uh, paper pad, mm -hmm. and you can see just making an envelope out of it is so special. And again, this would be so expensive. And show your little sizes too. If you just yeah. want to do a little invitation size, or if you just want to do a little card, a thank you note. Know, yeah, exactly. just a little sweet. Or you're going to put it with a gift package, card. a gift card. Yep. You want to take this and hang it on a bottle of wine if you're going to someone's house. Yep. So you can make things like this. But I love these. We have them all over yeah. the set. This is so cool. And you did this with this as well. Yes, um, Martha and I actually made these on her show. A while ago. So yes. you used the punches we had earlier. We used the punches. You just cut a six inch strip of paper, 12 by 12, cut it in half, and then you're going to use the, um, the deep edge. Mm -hmm. And then at, at the valley and the peak, you're going to score every other one. So it makes, it's a great tool for accordion folding because you can, um, you can do it at every, if you, for instance, if you just did one inch, two inch, three inch, and then turned it around and did the half inch. The one and a half inch and the two and a half inch, you're going to be able to easily accordion fold anything. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's so. You, you remember the lanterns? Have you ever seen the paper lanterns that you used to do when yeah. you were a kid? Yeah. You could actually do a really yeah. sophisticated one with this, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. How awesome. I love those little paper lanterns you used to make, and you used to cut out the stuff on the little edge. Yeah. And then you'd turn it around and glue it together and had a lantern. And that is the accordion that you would actually, you would glue these together and you would make the accordion. The, 
Yeah. I love it's it. It's so simple. <laughs> and it's it looks completely so, sold yeah. out. Yeah, it looks a lot more complicated. Yeah. Imagine those like all over your Christmas.